How do we add and subtract polynomials? Let's say we have three apples, two bananas, and two apples. If we say that an apple is x and a banana is y, then we can say that we have 3x plus 2y plus 2x. But if we look at it, we can rearrange the apples and bananas like this. So therefore, we can say that we have 5x plus 2y. Now the same principle is used when adding polynomials. The idea is that we can add like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variables and powers. For example, 3xy squared z and negative 2xy squared z are like terms, because they have the same variables raised to the same exponents. The order of the variables does not matter. For example, 7yx cubed and 10x cubed y are like terms, because still they have the same variables raised to the same exponents. 2xz raised to 6 and 4x squared y are unlike terms, because they have different variables. 5x squared and 5x cubed are also unlike terms, because x squared is not the same as x cubed. Now to add polynomials, we combine like terms by adding their constant parts, also called as coefficients. For example, let's say we have x squared plus 3x plus 2x squared minus x plus 5. x squared and 2x squared are like terms, so we add them and get 3x squared. 3x and negative x are like terms, so we add them and get 2x. And finally, we add the remaining 5. So therefore, the answer is 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. Now let's say we have 3xy minus x squared y cubed plus 3 minus 2xy minus x cubed y squared minus 1. In this case, take note that we first have to distribute the negative sign. So therefore, this becomes 3xy minus x squared y cubed plus 3 minus 2xy plus x cubed y squared plus 1. 3xy and negative 2xy are like terms, so we add them and get xy minus x squared y cubed plus x cubed y squared. 3 and 1 are like terms, so we add them and get 4. So therefore, the answer is xy minus x squared y cubed plus x cubed y squared plus 4. So that's how you add and subtract polynomials. Thanks for watching.